The U.S. Air Force fired six members serving at a major nuclear base after their units failed a safety inspection. CNN reported on Wednesday, quote, citing sources. Eighth Air Force Command announced on Tuesday that it dismissed two senior commanders and four of their subordinates at Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota, which hosts 28 B 52H Strato Fortress nuclear capable bombers and 165 Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missiles. Officials said that the service members were dismissed, quote, due to a loss of confidence in their ability to complete their assigned duties. Two defense officials later told CNN that the firings took place after the personnel failed an inspection which intended to ensure that the nuclear weapon stockpile at the base is, quote, safe and secure at all times. The Nuclear Surety Inspection, NSI, could only be passed or failed. There's no middle ground, and its results were, are classified. The U.S. Air Force NSI program seeks to, quote, ensure nuclear weapons and their components do not become vulnerable to loss, theft, sabotage, damage, or unauthorized use. There are no signs that the inspection was related to the handling of U.S. nuclear assets, the report says. Another defense official told CNN that the service failed the check for, quote, noncompliance vehicle and equipment safety inspections. But speaking to AP, an unnamed U.S. defense official confirmed the report, adding that while the decision to dismiss the six Air Force members was based on one inspection, the unit had failed to comply with regulations for some time. He also claimed that the move was intended to show that the Air Force had taken a tough line on discipline among personnel handling nuclear assets following several controversies. As a matter of fact, back in 2007, a notorious incident, a U.S. B-52 bomber took off from Minot base while mistakenly loaded with six nuclear-armed missiles. 2014, Maelstrom Air Force Base in Montana was hit by another scandal which saw half of its 183 missile launch officers accused of cheating to obtain higher scores in their monthly proficiency test. I'll leave the link down below. And of course, as usual, share our reports. What are your thoughts? Leave them down as well. And we'll talk to you soon at the next report. See you then.